Hello and welcome back to Bump Love. I hope, I really hope that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you have not, please press pause, go and subscribe and remember to like, comment and share. Now, if you hear any clanking and shushing, we are at the beautiful Aleph Cafe Bar and Restaurant right here on Kanjota Street. You can drop by for amazing meals, amazing breakfast and fun themed nights. Today on the show, we discuss sexual harassment. It is a conversation that has been heavily embedded in our society platforms, whether it's at home, in the workplace, or when you're navigating a relationship. And we want to talk about what this means, what our understanding of it is, and maybe help someone out there who is struggling to identify and perhaps spare themselves from sexual harassment. So welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Um, I think ready. you are ready, yeah. <laughs> ready. <laughs> to dig in. Yeah. So obviously a good place to start would be to, to define what sexual harassment is, what's our understanding of, of it, and also have you experienced some form of sexual harassment? We shall use Miriam Webster, <laughs> Webster yeah. for an official definition. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just like um, a clear cut definition, but it spans in so many other shades. Yeah. So what is sexual harassment? Uninvited and unwelcome mm. verbal or physical behavior of a sexual nature, especially by a person in authority towards a subordinate, mm. such as an employee mm -hmm. or a student. Okay. So sexual harassment is viewed mostly, the context with which it is always expressed, is mostly in the workplace, yeah. mostly, mm. but it spans to spheres exactly. beyond the workplace. Yes. I think it's the workplace and the home. And the, and and the home. home. Yeah. Yeah. Even in life here on the random streets. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 You know that those cat passes, calling. that cat yeah. calling, it's, that's sexual it, it, harassment. Yes, it is. In schools. Even in schools. schools. Even in schools. Yeah. Teachers. Yeah. Teachers, Teachers yeah. 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 But I, I feel like, so sexual harassment, you can do this or say the same thing, but it will be sexual harassment in one Different area. context, context and another. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'll give you an example. I remember when I was pregnant, because again, I was pregnant, and I looked really young, like a child mm. who was also yeah. pregnant. So at my work, in my, on my work desk, I have a, a picture. I had a picture framed of me and my husband. Mm. Now my husband, remember, was 10 years older, and he actually mm. looked older, mm. and he was big. Yes. Yet for me, I was so small. Yeah. My boss, the big, and real boss, like not a supervisor or anything, yeah. real big boss, he came and at the door and looked behind and said, eh, Pomila, is that the man who did that to you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Come oh me. God. Yeah, of course I took it like a joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean you can manage all of him? Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> oh wow. God. So now for me, I'm there saying that, yeah, and I'm, yeah, I'm responding. I'm responding. Yeah. I'm responding. Yeah. And I, yeah, then after when he leaves, he says, eh, anyway, now I know you can manage that. It means you can also manage me. Hey. Hey. Because mm. now, at like the last few days, he used to like take, bring me to work sometimes and drop me. And then there's a border stage, mm. and then the border men would be there saying, You know, like they would give on those corners. And for me, I would just laugh. Yeah. 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 But when I'm in the disco, when I'm in the club, mm. someone says the same thing when we are there, and it's like just ah, it's a banter. Banter. yeah, it's like banter. Banter. Yeah. we are playing around with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not after the fact that I realize it was all that was sexual harassment. harassment. Yeah. Sexual yeah. harassment, yeah. Yeah. and I take time now. And you know what? I don't, I don't, res I never used to respond, mm. but I only started to respond because, like, I have a colleague at work who is always talking about my my shapely, sexy legs. <laughs> American. And I remember, you know, and I think it's in certain places. I think because in my field, there are so many men. Yes. Like, there are guys. Yes. And when I even go for conferences or seminars or workshops, mm. when the men are speaking, they are picking them intellectually and their technical yes. capacities. But, then but for, for women, me, yeah. the first thing is that, oh, you look oh, nice. You look nice. Yes. Oh, yes. This yes. Is, yes. Yeah, you're pretty yeah. one. Like then when, then when you speak. The one I used to get mm. was, eh, you're too pretty for this industry. Are ah, you see it? You know, that. things like that. Yeah. 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 And I, you yeah. know, I never used to respond until I realized that the, fact, the people who, who should be in a position, who should be responding, mm. don't. And the ones who fear to respond, say nothing. So nobody's mm. saying anything. anything. Yes. So then I realized, you know what, I think I need to be speaking for those people. Yeah. Yes. So, that. Yeah. so yes. I started to actually do real reading to real, and I realized yeah, yeah. at least almost every week, 
someone was saying something, something. Yeah. of a sexual nature yeah. that was uninvited, mm. that was unwelcome, that was intended to make me feel a certain way, mm. but just yes. because I wasn't feeling it, does not cancel out the fact oh. that it is sexual. Oh, that, was, that, that was going to be my next question, yeah. that is it sexual harassment if it doesn't make me feel like it, it is sexual harassment if it, makes if it you is either intended or it makes you feel. Yeah. Make yes. Either one. Either one. Either yes. one. Either yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel offended. I, I and, so I started to speak out. Now, eh, there is a man I slapped in that disco. I know Jedi. those ones. Hey, those hey, ones. Sudanese hey, man who started coming and doing doing like this. Ordinarily, yeah. I would have you know hey. maybe. Yeah. And I just realized that they do this to people all the time and they don't like exactly. it yeah. because there are women out there who don't what don't care or don't feel exactly. anything. Or don't know. Or don't, don't know. Actually, yeah, ignorance. They don't know. They yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I just cool. can't yeah. stand it. Sure. Eh. That but was I the end of the discussion. Eh. Eh. <laughs> there was no discussion. And, 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 no. and that, that just reminded me, Rachel, mm. remember a while ago, while we were at Serena. At Serena, yes, yes. you and uh -huh. I. What happened? There was, there was, a, guy, there was yeah. a team of guys that were working there were on the project. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. were, yeah. 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 There were casual, casual workers, casual workers, girls and boys. So mm. a guy just came and tapped the girl's ass. But you could tell that she, she was, was very uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 Like they were like and colleagues. Like, yeah, yeah they, were they were colleagues. No colleagues. Yeah. And they're not, they were not Seren. I need to say that they were not No, they were not Seren. They were not Seren. They were not They were not They were not They were not Yeah. They were working on another project mm. there. So the guy just came and tapped. Like we were watching from this side. Yeah, we were. And, and we were uncomfortable. We were very uncomfortable. That's so uncool. Like, that is so uncool. And she never defended herself. She and that is. made us even more uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we, we talked about it and we're like, that, this is the reason they keep doing it. Yes. Because if she's not saying anything, the yeah. guy is going to come back and, and do, do the yeah, same yeah, thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I don't know. For me, I feel like all my life, it's all I've experienced, mm. to be honest. Mm. And sexy body. Wow. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> also, you can't wow, wow, wow. some wow. of you. Wow. We don't over experience these things. Because, because our figures are new. Wow, come on. Yeah. 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 When, 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 when you're, you're blessed, <laughs> when you're when blessed, they're not blessed. You should expect <laughs> it. Yeah, this challenge. I'm sorry, it's, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I hear you. But it too. does happen, yes. And I, I feel like. Like you've said, for us women, for a long time, I didn't understand that yeah. us being sexually harassed. Mm. Like I, I, I didn't yeah. understand. I didn't get yeah. it because yeah. one, it was allowed. Like things could happen even in public. Yeah. And, yes, and you know, and, and it starts. And to, uh, to be honest, it starts when you're younger. younger. Exactly. Yeah. Young exactly. And I remember once having a fight with my husband because the guard wanted to carry our daughter. I was just like. No, no, yeah. no, what? he yeah. does not carry yeah. our daughter. Yeah. He does not. How to put on which laps? laps. So that oh, was. So yeah. for me, it was, I was no, really always uncomfortable. uncomfortable. And I remember talking to Brian and saying, Brian, that man has to be told it's wrong. Mm. Yeah, he's not even going to carry his wife. He's not even going to carry his girlfriend. Yeah. But mm. my daughter, mm. how mm. much? Because now those things happened to me and I didn't know. No. Right? Yeah. In yes. that when now someone was taking advantage of me, mm. I had no idea. That's yeah. true. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So That's now true. growing up, and get even, by the time I started, I think I started to fight for myself. After I'd had, an ex I'd, I'd had two experiences where two different men were dry humping me. And I had no idea. Mm. And these are people who were in the home, home compound while you are watching movies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more, eh, no more movie. Yeah. Not even uh -huh. uh, no, First way. brothers and sisters. That they, not nobody understands. None of us because we are all kids. Yeah. You understand? It, like, but isn't this now sexual abuse? I think I there's think a difference. There's a right? difference. But that's why it starts I, 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 from. Yeah, it starts from, from, from the yes. sexual harassment. So, and I remember abuse. telling my mom, and I remember from that day on, my mom would take me every, right. literally every, every month yeah. to a doctor oh. to check me out. Is she fine? Is she fine? Because she was in a home where there were so many people. Yeah. She just didn't know what okay, was yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah. also, I feel like sometimes you don't know, is, is your child telling the truth? True. And there's yeah. also that. Is she yeah. not? Yeah. Like, yeah. But then also, you're like, where would she have got it from? Oh. So I think she, like, and that's a thing again, because yeah, as long as the child comes and says something, yeah. you should just immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, really yeah, should yeah. respond. So I got, I quote unquote, like, I literally got you, because I didn't know that there is, for, for long I better had a problem yeah. with it. Mm. Then that day I realized was when my mom said to take me away. Mm. I said, now they are, now they are finished, because mm. I'm going to, I'm not, I can't keep going to the doctor. Mm. To be checked, yes. yeah, if yeah. my hymen is still in right? yes. mm. yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, not, oh, it's not okay. Like you said, that yes. one was close to sexual abuse. Mm. But anyway, and then I started to fight. <laughs> Tell us, did you slap <laughs> like another child? Was, eh? There was a time I went to a window. Mm. 
Oh, nah, that place. Eh? In that <laughs> moon you go, you know that yeah. place. So someone is behind hey. you, someone is in front of yeah. you. Then somebody hey. squeezed my bum. Mm. I just got my hand. I also took it backwards and, and squeezed, squeezed him. Oh my God. He walked. I said, "Oh, you're mukazi Everybody was wondering what did he do? What did the woman? Oh my God. I squeezed with all the serious? strength I have. With all the might, I don't think his balls remained the same because I was feeling it. <laughs> and I squeezed with all I had. Probably had long nails uh, at that time. No, I was yeah. just on campus. Yeah. 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 Like first year thing. Yeah. 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 Even Boda Boda men, yeah. you know, I would mm -hmm. slap. I would. I, uh, but I don't condone violence but, uh, and bump love. <laughs> Small, <laughs> small, small, yeah, small, 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 my sexuality, mm. my uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would not no. leave you. I would not. Mm. I, I mm. always you had a backhand comment, and then God gave me a man who has very good backhand comments. Mm. I said, okay, fine. Mm. I, now I, let's <laughs> go. I've I seen him. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. Yes. And I remember once he told me because I was so offended when Boda Boda men gave me some jazz. He told me for those ones, just always reply and say, Nga mama oh. Oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, nah, yeah now you just yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I pass out, it will just be here. I'm just like, I'm just okay. Waiting, waiting. <laughs> from that day, and you know, you're always using the same street. Yeah. From that day, that day, that day, that day. So, if they're not doing it to a man, yeah. but they're doing it to you, yeah. and it has a sexual connotation to it, yeah. that qualifies as sexual harassment. Mm. That's, true. That's, that's it. And, and yeah. for me, I remember growing up, and you, you were right about it starting at an early age, and there's an age they like taking advantage of. Young you go, young girls, 13, your boobs are starting to pop. Uh -huh. Your kabam is starting. Uh -huh. Yeah, those boo village boys. Um, for me, I remember growing up. Um, I think my first uh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> when you uh -huh. grow up from the ghetto, eh? Because mm. I grew up from Boise, and most times, like I, I st we stay. We used to stay in Kazo, so you move mm. through Boise, uh -huh. that uh -huh. crowd of those oh. uneducated boys. Yeah, and I really, really hated it mm. because there's. You know when you're in boarding school and you know there's there's a life you've lived and you know this is not where I'm supposed to, to be, be guys. Yeah. It would always yeah. irritate me. Yeah. And they took advantage of that age, especially when yeah. we were in holiday, yes. teenagers, yes. every time I'd go back, hey go, go to boys, go buy something. Just passing during yeah. the day, in the night, they didn't care. Hey, great, shit. There's a time they used to shish us a lot. Yes. There's a season. Shh, yabo, hey. They <laughs> just grab your ass. It would really, really, really yeah. irritate me. Yeah. So it, when you go up in this and then you go to the workspace, mm. people, like no one defends it. Yeah. You, you see that any, the, the community is there yeah. and it's cool. Mm. So you go to the workspace and you're confused. Eh? Yeah. You keep seeing these guys, you know, speaking things yeah. that are not right. Mm. And you, I also honestly started to fight for myself. Mm. Especially at the workplace, because now as older, yeah. when you are younger, you don't have much to do. You yeah. let you it pass. Know, yeah. You can't fight the cowboy. You like don't this have guy just hit me. Yeah. So when you go up, I, I grew up. I remember the workplace. I started my first job. There's boys that would always come. Hey, you have an ass. Yeah. Hey. And I'm like, you have it. Excuse me. Girl. Yeah. So, <laughs> so now that's where the issue is. So, yeah. so I would start to fight back. I'm like, don't tell that to me. But when you said your mother, you reminded me of a teacher. He would like to abuse us. And when you say, hey, eh, pardon, he would be like, you are mother. <laughs> Your mother, so we would always be yeah. I <laughs> hate <laughs> your mother. From. From <laughs> your mother. I, I don't know, Rachel. I kind of like. I don't know if you felt it, especially in, like in our culture, mm. in you know, in the Western culture. Mm -hmm. It's usually when girls start to get breasts mm. and, and stuff, but like aunts and uncles, like truly really feel it. comment. Yeah, they even yeah, touch home. Yeah. Like, hey. Yeah, mm. like, hey. Actually, I know this in the Western culture. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like a like normal feel. thing. I don't, I don't remember experiencing it. Yeah. But I've, I have heard of it. Yeah. That, Western that culture, meaning Western Uganda. <laughs> yes. Western, yes. Uganda. Western Uganda. But the ease with which, it's almost like you are our child. Hey, you are Nintin yeah. is a, yeah. they are starting to. And they poke. They yes. do. Yeah. Yes. 
But my, my experience with sexual harassment, and I, I, I'm listening to you guys saying, I started to defend myself, and I'm like, hey, Rachel, <laughs> uh, when are you going to start? <laughs> no, you're, but you see, other people that, for me, I realized it's happening to you, and when you we're don't not, say, we don't you say can't anything. say, you don't respond, you don't say anything back, you get asked who it's happening to, so then who you can you respond, well, even if we don't feel anything yeah. about it. We let him, it's happening and we're letting it go. So they are thinking the guys think it's okay. It is okay. Yeah. And that's that's you're, I, you're the one who for you. Bambi, please. Yeah, I feel <laughs> nothing. I honestly <laughs> feel nothing. Continue standing up. I mean, I first stand up I am non-confrontational already. That's uh, already a big barrier. So when somebody, I remember I worked in a certain space where there used to be a gentleman who would make sexual comments. So they would slide into like KB. Um, that's how they always. That's yes, they always yes. I, I don't. I, I'm. I'm careful about the information because I worry that the person might. Which, might, which you shouldn't be worried about. Which I shouldn't be worried about. Can you imagine? Mm. You and should, they are no, still I'm protecting the perpetrators. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> You're the victim. I know. I know. I just. So okay. actually, you. I mean, you should have told me this. KB, I would have said it for you. <laughs> All of it's wow. the story as it is. <laughs> you don't fear. You say no. Okay, so there would be weird comments like, um, and let me try and remember. But there would be there would be comments about sex. Yeah. Um, you're looking sweet today. Yeah. Can I take you? Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Or eh, your husband must be those mm, those, those ones. Those yes. ones. So they would make me uncomfortable. One because this is the this is a workplace. Like our relationship is supposed to mm. be civil, cordial, professional. Yeah. But here we are talking about sex. But I think also being married makes it even more uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, okay, there's another uh. stepholder in this picture. Yeah. Then there's me that you're telling. And the words would stick. And I think the thing that would make me most uncomfortable is my inability to speak up. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I, I don't know where. The, I wasn't afraid that I was going to be fired. I wasn't mm. afraid. I think I was more afraid of a toxic workplace where I have spoken up and now he's and then, upset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. nothing yeah. gets Silence. done, exactly. so you're still in the same space. Exactly, exactly. So that has been my experience. I don't think I've gotten to the point where I'm able to speak yeah. and say I don't like that. And then I'm really shocked that you're able to confront Boda Boda men. I'm just like, what if mm. they rally and bash you? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, they she they just said a yeah. quick one. For that, for, that, for, the, for this kind of thing, yeah. they Even don't. them, they know. They know. Mm. They know. Mm. They, 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 mm. Like, even when it seems... So normal, yeah. they, they, they know. something inside there that tells them that there's something wrong that I'm doing. I'm yes. having a sexual conversation yeah. Yeah. out in public, so I yeah. feel like actually deep down they they know that there's a problem. Mm. There. They so, know, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. so I feel like so since like the Me Too movement and when you know women have come up to speak up against sexual harassment and. What is that? For example, Pumla shared that some of those things don't make her uncomfortable, but in another setting, they will make and someone... And for another person. Yes. Yeah. So it seems like, and I've heard men say this, it seems like the, the, the boundaries within, within which sexual harassment is being defined keep expanding. Yeah. So if you say or I'm they are pretty, blurry. they are blurry, yes. Yeah. If you say I'm pretty, maybe for me it makes me uncomfortable, for Manuela it doesn't, and maybe yeah. a thousand other women, but me it makes me uncomfortable. So it's sort of like, what is what exactly? Yeah. We've defined it. It's unwelcome, yeah. unsolicited, and it's intended to make me feel uncomfortable. Yes. But do we think that those boundary lines being and evolving over time have made the fight against sexual harassment harder? If anything, mm -hmm. they have made it easier. Oh. You cannot fight what you don't know. That is true. It's like being in a marriage. Mm. And then it doesn't mean that because you're sweeping all your issues under the carpet mm. that the issues do not exist. So. Yeah. If anything, it makes mm. the marriage harder because you're not even you sure what the it. issues are. If you open the carpet you and unpack, you. you see now you know what exactly you yeah. are fighting. Mm. So I feel like what this has done, especially like that Me Too, was it Me, Me Too? Too movement, yeah. Yeah. The Me Too movement where now everybody is allowed to come out and say something. Mm. It makes everybody aware yeah. of what exactly, what is the true definition? Or what are least, the boundaries? At least the nearby. Or at, at yeah. least, yeah. Mm. Because I feel like if you, if you unpack things and you bring them to the light, it now, you know, and this is a thing, I think it's an African culture problem of mm. trying not wanting to make people uncomfortable yeah. you know yeah, yeah, trying to yeah, keep yeah, peace yeah, yeah. especially men's peace yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. because they people yeah. because when women speak up 
Then the man says, hey, will you manage that woman? Yeah. She's aggressive. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. opinionated. Yeah. How many times have you heard them saying a man is opinionated? No, they no. don't. They don't. They How don't. many times do you say a man is aggressive? No, mm. they, they don't. don't. It, is, it is used in a wrong context yeah. when yeah. women yes. are, are defending Speak them, up. are speaking out yeah. for themselves, yeah. are defending yeah. themselves. Mm. Yeah. So yes, let us unpack. Let us make mm. them uncomfortable yeah. so we can start to discuss it yeah. and mm. so that laws and policies can be put in place to yeah. address yeah. specifics because yes. you cannot address what you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You have to highlight yeah. it bring it out so yeah. i feel that every time something comes up and is unpacked it makes it clearer yeah. to the public and yeah. to the victims yeah. what yeah. is yeah. happening yeah. to them yes. so that they can be armed with tools to yeah. defend themselves yeah. Yeah. i don't think that the boundaries are blurry yeah. or that it's expanding i just think that people are different mm. like you've just said mm. you're saying a certain comment to pumla doesn't bother her. doesn't bother yeah. her but it does to someone else yeah. so should we now say because it doesn't bother pumla it's no longer She's sexual so harassment yeah. so because we are different kinds of women and different kinds of people and different kinds of men mm. then that it feels like the definition is is, is, is evolving, is evolving. Yeah, yeah. but the definition is very clear mm. is it unsolicited mm -hmm. it qualifies for Sexual, sexual harassment. harassment. Yes. Is it uh, what was uninvited, uh, uninvited yes. and welcome yeah. and welcome? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm. Is it? Does it make you uncomfortable? Yes. yes. So as long as it, it hits any process. of those three, yeah. maybe it's for Pumla, it does. Is it sexual in nature? Yes. Yeah. yes. It might not bother her, mm. but has it, it bothered Rosette? Yeah. Now it might not, not be for it. her, but mm. for her yeah, it is. So for men mm. to be on the safe side, if it was not invited, zip it. Okay, mm -hmm. and don't say, oh, you know, you are wearing your things seductively for me, and you are smiling for you. me. Oh. And obviously, I thought, wow, let me just say the comments. She looks sweet, so she came to my office mm -hmm. nicely. Maybe she looks sweet. I should no. If it's not, if it's not welcome, yeah. a woman will. A woman should anyway. Let. But, <laughs> but we keep saying yeah, also, women. Is it? Is it? Um, is it only a woman? Only women. I mean, do men get I mean, sexually harassed? How yes, do they men do? They do. Yes, How they do they get sexually harassed? Yes, they do. Like me, when I see men with six pack. Yeah, okay. but I don't talk. And as we I speak, abuse we don't. them in my heart. Yeah. But sexually they harass they them in for my me, heart. I have, and now that you're talking about it, I remember <laughs> recently I, I touched because some he had a slim feet, you not know, those yeah. whatever, and I touched Ko. Yeah. And, huh? But he was so happy <laughs> with it. So I don't so know. So, so you see, this takes us back. That yeah. okay, it was uninvited. It yes, was unwelcome. It was but sexual, it did not make him feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. If anything, he loved it. Yeah. Even like it even if opened. He was he in a jacket, it. and he liked it. But I can imagine that could have been Rosette's butt. Yeah. No? Yeah. 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 And, yeah. It, and it's pretty so much. I sexually harassed him. Yes, you did, yes, madam. You did. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lawrence. So Literally, me, in all this, I'm not too sure where she touched up. Just uh, the abs. Oh, the abs. Like, oh, you I know, he was really like, oh, whatever. They were hard, man. They felt so good. I was like, oh, oh, oh you feel <laughs> wow. wow. But you even removed. And yeah. yeah. He removed. Yeah. And even started telling me his workout eh? regimen. Eh? Oh, yeah, I want to meet him. So was it? Sorry, Mr. Mlodo. So, yes, and I. I <laughs> it, 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 this, this, this doesn't only apply to the men. The to ladies the as women. well. The yeah. women. Yeah. They also harass these men. And at yeah. the workplace. Yeah. Especially yeah. the younger boys. Uh, mm. Yes. They should come you talk dirty to you. Yeah, I mean, and the boys are, you know, it's unwanted. Mm. They are married. They mm. don't want this. So the ladies or, are doing or, this as Or well. men who are accused of sexually harassing because maybe they've given negative feedback to their subordinates in the At workplace. Work, yes. So yes. I'm, a, I'm a male yeah. boss and I am giving you feedback about your work and maybe you feel like your only response or defense is to accuse me of sexual harassment. actually that has yeah. happened to my workplace. That yeah. has work happened at my workplace, mm. guys. Eh? Eh? It was serious. Terrible. So, it, in fact, it's good that it's talked about because some people have grown up to be so free mm. to talk about sex that yeah. they don't know it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So you have your subordinate and mm. your everyday, hey, you look lovely today, you look sexy. Mm. And all this time, she, it's unwanted to mm. her. Yeah. She's really hating In her it. head. And in yeah. her head, yeah. for you, you're kawa, you're just like, oh, you oh. look sexy, and you move on. Mm. Yeah, because there's many people like mm. that. Yeah. The ladies too. Yeah. You move on and you do not know what it's causing to the other person. So this, this girl, <laughs> because she's a boss, mm. she happens to, because she knows this guy likes me, because of what he says. He's been saying. She, yeah, she started to not hit her targets, her KPIs, mm. nothing done. Yes. And when the guy reports to HR, she comes on with her case. 
She's <gasps> like, I mean, he, he just wants to put me down because, because he's, he's been, been sending all these yeah. sexual advances and, and because I'm, I'm not, not giving, giving in. Game. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. But also women do take advantage. Yes. yes. So this wasn't yeah. true? No, she was saying she wasn't she was hitting just, her targets. Was, or just, well, because it can happen both ways. Yeah. 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 So it can happen because guy, when we're in school, remember, like on campus. So it wasn't There are people true. who are not doing the right thing and then they just say, like, I'll uh, open my I'll open my leg yeah, for the yeah. lecture. Yeah. No, no, for her, because he kept, he, like, it was, come. She was feeling a certain kind of way, mm. and he didn't know that and maybe he was, was harassing her mm. sexually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Women find ways to and when to pull out to that pull out card. that card. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and so men. So exactly, we're using it as an advantage, yeah. but also we're trying to fight. Yes, yeah, so exactly. we need to pick a struggle. <laughs> we need to pick a struggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually, it's we're father. Speaking of challenges, I think it's it's uh, that. So we are fathering. Okay, so Manuela told us a story here mm. about, um, and this happened, I'm sure anyone who went to uni. camp, university, yeah. happy, you, you, you experienced it somewhere. Yeah. Like you're, you, you're reading in, in school, you're reading for your exams and everything, and then this next person who is doing the same course as you is like, ah, these things are too hard. Mm. Me, if I'll just go and uh, give, yeah. give uh, Professor Gundi some, some. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, uh, and if I don't give him some, mm. I give yeah. him that. Hope that, that hope, could even happen. if I don't yes. exactly. Yeah. So now for us, we are trying to, to champion it out. But you're giving the men in their minds, they are saying, but those girls anyway, they come they to us. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So, so it gives me a right yeah. to yeah. also, you know, initiate it with somebody else yeah. To, yeah. to check if they can also yeah. give yeah. to take. Yeah. And that's it's uh, confusing. It is confusing. Yeah. It is confusing. Yeah. I don't want to be a man. So that's why in the blurriness. <laughs> yes, I don't want to be a man in this. <laughs> Yeah. Me too movement yeah. because you just don't know but i just feel like there's you you just have to be careful mm. like honestly because that same chick who i said i can open my legs someone will be the same one to report you that is true she will yeah. that's She'll true be the yeah. same one that to is report true you. Yeah. so I, true. I i i actually a chick on campus saying you used to hold that against a guy for blackmail mm. Mm. and she even recorded okay yeah. she went with that intention she was not going to study Wow. On campus, oh, so wow. she went with that intention. Went, put her phone there, and yeah, and decided and told the guy. Now you see, I have this evidence. Mm. If you ever give me, fail me, or give me a mark below, wow. ABC, I will this is what I'm going to release. Talk for me, I did retex. <laughs> you before? <laughs> there was a particular subject. It was for each year. Mm. I won't say it because. Yeah. Mm. Now imagine all my subjects I'm not failing. Yeah, yeah. It's just, this it's just that it's just particular, this particular one. Subject. And I, I wasn't thinking about it much. Mm -hmm. I mean I didn't know the lecturer. I was selling juice the whole time. I would mm -hmm. sit at the yeah. back of the class. Mm -hmm. So I did not think about it. I actually thought, oh maybe I did fail it. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. I do it a second time in my third year mm -hmm. together with my probability theory three. Mm -hmm. And I fail it. And I excel wow. at probability three. theory three. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something's off. I'm like, mm. what's no. happening? Yeah. But I've prepared. Mm. Mm. No, no, this doesn't make sense. And I found probability theory very easy. easy. You know, those yeah. really easy subjects. Yeah. I'm like, mm. but why am I something is off. Mm. Am I failing this one? So I, I got to do it the third time because me, it just never ever made sense. I never even ever went to see the lecture. I don't know anything. Yeah. So I now go. I'm. I'm going to you know say that i'm going to do it because i can't now graduate because i have this one failure yeah. yeah and then when i go to you know these ladies who like who work at the i mean well, i'm so stressed out about this yeah you know people who work at faculties and whatever yeah, yeah. so i the go to her, those yeah, administrators yeah, yeah. so I, sh I, I show her that i'm going to do this one paper again she's like you're doing it again what's your name mm -hmm. so i tell her my name she brings out all my results. She's like, but you pass all your exams. Oh, She's like, you don't even pass. You excel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm talking like on campus. 90s. 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 Which mm. And you're failing to How? 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 So she's like, you first wait. You go and come back. She was also so I, She was really confused. Mm. No, she wasn't really confused. Oh, she yeah, wasn't. she knew. She, she knew. Yeah, she so seemed, to, she knew. She to, seemed know, to, know. to know. But she's like, you first go. You will come back. Mm. So I come back. I'm like, oh, the semester is about to begin. She sits me. She says, come. Mm -hmm. Sits me down. She says, you know what? Mm -hmm. You're not going to sit this paper. Okay. You'll never pass it. Hey. What? Unless 
What? So this is my advice what? to you. Mm -hmm. There's a thing that on campus that they do mm. where you don't have to do that exam, if, especially if your, your CGPA is good yes. and whatever. There's yeah, a certain yeah, yeah. paper that you can. So my oh, CGPA, yes, came down yeah, because, because of, that yeah, paper came in. But it was, she said it's, it's allowed. It's okay. Oh. It's, okay. It's, a, it's a U. I know that on my thing it's yes, a yes, U. Yes, yes, yes. A U. But they Are still count serious? it as a full subject. So it brought down my entire CGPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just asked me, are you okay with a second upper? I'm like, eh, nah, nah. Seku, it is okay. What? As long as I can graduate. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. how I graduated. What? But she was like, you will never pass that. This is the administrator what? telling me. So yeah. I just felt and some chills. I right? know, right? So I never that's had a right. conversation with a guy. Nothing. But, but that means it's something like that he's that, doing. That he's yeah. doing yeah. and she knows. She knows. Yes. And they know. And they know. know. So she told me, Madam, if yes. you are okay with your CGP, if you are okay with having a paper that has uh, a U, oh it's okay. Nice. And my, my transcript has And if it's that's happening there. to you, I'm sure it's happening to many, many, many other exactly. guys. So, yeah. yeah. My goodness. That, I mean, and you know the way this lecture is going about it, he's very, I don't want to compliment him, but what I'm trying to say is, He's not even approaching you. He's no. hoping that you will. You will he throws gives you a kanye. A kanye, kanye, yeah. kanye yeah. Yeah. He waits for you yeah, to yeah, come. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Let her like you're the one who has taken yourself. Yes, exactly. And I know for a fact that yes. many of my friends were telling me, you know, you be careful, that guy. But they, we had no, no interaction. We had no information, yeah. no interaction. Yes. We didn't know. We're just like, but how do you fail that paper? I don't know how to explain how easy that mm. paper was. Probability. Oh my God. All my products, mm. all my digital products are based on probability. Oh, probability. Yeah, but you see, wow. now that brings us back to that. That's so. let's keep the peace mentality mm. because as a child, it might have been difficult for you to, yeah. to you know, to fight back. But if an older lady, the administrator there, yeah. should have been the, a voice, she's allowing happen. it to happen. happen. Yeah, because yes. they don't want to embarrass yeah. people, and they just want to bring up the conversation. Like it is so sad eh, that thing of let the peace prevail mm. because it's happening in homes. Yeah. Mm. A, a girl will literally get sexually abused, not even harassed, mm. and the mom will still defend that oh, guy. Oh yeah, that happens, okay. well. yeah? that happens as that well. Yeah, that so happens as well. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. And I think maybe the other thing that people are afraid of, and all of these are challenges that this, I'm going to call it a movement, is going to face, is they, they sort of don't see the end. Like okay, so when you go up uh -huh, against a lecturer, uh -huh, when you go up against uh -huh, a man in authority, uh -huh, then what? I've never seen so many victories to give me that uh -huh. confidence yeah, yeah. to yeah. go that up I can also go up against them. So oh, wow. it, it's really difficult. And then of course people lose their jobs. I know it's part of the war, so yeah. to speak, and there are only a few brave people who can do so, like speak up, and they are not afraid of the consequences. Yeah. But for the majority of people, they are like, yeah. ah, I have to put bread exactly. on the table. Yeah. For my oh, yes. Threatens yeah. that, that, it, reporting yeah. threatens their life. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Their life. Yeah. 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 So something. that lady, all she can do is, you know, advise you advise on that. Advise you, but and, and I appreciate confront. her for doing yeah. that for you. But yeah. there are yeah. laws. The laws, like I, so there is also a law issue, like a governance, the mm. laws and policies. So this whole sexual harassment is covered, at least for the workplace, mm. under the Employment Act. Yeah. Mm. But the Employment Act on its own is so weak. Mm. First of all, I saw, and I, I would like any lawyers to come out and like, educate us if an amendment has been done, but the last one that I read um, says that a, a, an institution or an, an, an agency authority or a company can only have laws that are specific to sexual harassment if they are employing more than 25 people. You know, like how NSSF, mm -hmm. like they will tell you, you cannot, you only register for NSSF if you have more than five employees. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So even for sexual harassment, it has, but any lawyer who can correct, if it has been it amended, amended, but the yeah. original law mm. is, it stays like that. Mm. So in a group of 25, no one can be harassed? Of less than 25. Of less than 25, mm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. it also, it, it shows you, it gives, um, it doesn't give the, 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 the yeah. weight or the seriousness, yes. the gravity yes. that, it that it actually does deserve. And which comes back to this, because... If you're not seeing victories, it means there are no real laws in place specific for spe sexual harassment. Yeah. Yeah. So if there is no true. law or political will yeah. to fight it, because even those people, actually, let me tell you, this thing happens so much in public service, civil yeah. service, the people who are making for you these laws are the ones, are the are ones who are doing it. They are the perpetrators, are the perpetrators and, are victims and the victims. Exactly. exactly. It's mostly in civil service and public service. Yeah. Those guys with their big bellies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I, I mean, I would say that First of all, it's not even only there. It's mm. in churches. I've witnessed it in a church oh environment. Wherever there's a society. I've witnessed it yeah. in, as long as... Mm. 
but so what I would say is that I think it's important for us as women to learn to stand up. Mm. Uh, Rosette mentioned something very critical that you know it's covered up even by parents because yes. we don't want to disturb the peace. Yes. But if you teach your child again to what yeah. you were saying, to speak up and what show them what is uncomfortable. Um, then they will learn to come to you with stuff and you're able to, I'm hoping that the parents who are watching are enlightened, please yeah. don't cover up these things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and show them how we, so how can we speak about this in our homes? I think that's what I'm trying to ask. I think it circles back to the discussions that we've had about mm. uh, teaching children about what bad touches are yeah. and what good touches are. Yeah. And starting from a young age, like from the time a child will talk, Madame, uh, authority can mm. edu educate <laughs> educator. More. But from a, at the age a child should talk, from then on, sh every stage in their mm. lives, there there is an age appropriate conversation you can have about yeah. body safety. Yeah. At every an age appropriately. Of course, I can t the way I talk to a three year old will be different from the way I talk to my thirteen year old mm. yeah. or a ten year old yeah. or a five year old. Yeah. Just keep introducing because let me tell you, people are born innocent. Like mm. kids are innocent. Yeah, yeah. They just pick up. From With these things, things from yes. the world. Adam and Eve were walking naked. Mm -hmm. There yeah, are still yeah, tribes yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Africa where people walk naked mm -hmm. and it's yeah, okay. Yeah. But now that the, the children have been infected yeah. or corrupted mm -hmm. by the world, mm -hmm. then tell them that you know what? There is this is okay. Dry humping is not okay. Yes. Tell them, yeah. This part, remember, body parts. It's I read private. somewhere where they tell someone told a parent told me that for her, she dresses her children in swimming costumes and says any part that is covered by the swimming costume that's should not private. be oh, that is a private that. part. Yeah. Yeah. How that's how she teaches. And mm. then she also warns them that, you know what, someone may take advantage of the fact that they are not touching what I have told you is a private part, mm. and they may start with like something like this. Mm. But now I want to talk about but that. But children, mm. children, let me tell you, feel there's something in the gut. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. now you need to unlock, and unlocking, unlocking that, is yeah. that conversation that yeah. you're having. Encourage your children to speak up. Yeah. If they tell you something and you don't respond, to them affirmatively they will not protectively come back, yeah. they will never come back yeah. and they'll keep it and now at that age it's sexual abuse yes. but now it progresses into the office as sexual mm. harassment yes. into the church into their homes when they are married yeah. into society just living amongst us yeah. and now they can't speak because yeah. the, their ability to communicate was locked was or locked blocked when they were the five year old who yeah. have, by the person who should have protected yeah. them yeah. Yeah. so it is teaching them to recognize what is bad mm. but not just leaving it at that yeah. then mm. it encourage them to this business of telling children keep quiet shh, don't talk the elder has the adults mm. are not always right no, they're, they're not always right, right. Yeah. children have things that they're telling you listen to them yeah. and yeah. then respond, respond. Yeah. Yeah. I, ha I, I was at a, a, a meeting yesterday where we were discussing parenting and they said someone said something very profound that I went away with the best expert to raising your child is your child mm. well, that's ah. interesting. yes so okay. in, in other words encouraging us to listen to them they are always communicating something. They are communicating yeah. needs. They are communicating aspirations who and dreams are. and who yeah. they are and their personality. But many times, because we feel we are the expert, I'm the parent, mm. I'm the one in the authority, I I'm the one who wants. Mm. We don't know everything. everything. And they are coming this into themselves. Yeah. Their, their individuality is growing. Their personality is growing. Yeah. The things that they are experiencing, they are coming to you. They may not communicate it the way you understand, yes. but for, at least listen. Yeah. and follow their cues because mm. they are themselves, I yeah. think. Let me, let yeah. me put it yeah. that way. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. That's, Love a, that. that's yeah. lovely. And I, I honestly feel sexual education needs to start at a very early age. Mm. Yeah. You know, we grew up not being told these things much about mm. our parents because in the African I think culture, scared. you know, <laughs> sex is something that no one wants to talk about. about. Yeah. And then girls grow up and then they are deceived in their mm. teenage ages and they're excited. Yeah. So we need to honestly talk about this at an early age mm -hmm. and I think if it is so hard for you as a parent for me what I've decided to do is schedule at least mm -hmm. do it every quarter yeah yeah okay. so let me talk about this every quarter so that they hear about it more often yeah. you're not yeah. waiting for something bad to happen and then you're like oh my god I, I, I've realized I've not talked about this the whole year mm. so just shed you say once a quarter we're having education on this oh, Let's so like about, you will sit them you down, will sit down. Like not like a it's real not class yeah. yeah. you know wow. you know because we are busy it yeah. can easily pass, pass. you and are you allowed passes, to delegate and you're not talking <laughs> <laughs> you think is this a responsibility that you can delegate to an aunt delegation yeah. 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 someone, someone can they are come, comfortable someone they are 
comfortable. Yeah, yeah, someone can come home and oh, this is lovely. Um, someone, <laughs> someone just had a girls' night out, teenage girls, oh, an nice. auntie of mine, yeah. and they talked about all these oh, things. Yeah. That's so yeah. cool. So it was like a night. You know, so it was fun, yeah. mixed it was with some fun ca education, mixed with yes. education that oh, people don't nice. often talk about, mm. and I really loved it. And I also like the boys' mentorship forum. Or you can do a boys' night out. Mm. Pumla yes. does that a lot. Yeah. So yeah. it's not boys. just mm. fun. You take you're boys. impacting. Yeah. Take yes. yes, you should take in the boys, mm. and you're impacting, or you bring in someone who can. And let me tell you guys, mm. they should the boys of they today being raised by the mothers of today. Oh. Yeah, they are so empowered so and so enlightened. So, yeah. And so, do you know, my like the boys I usually hang around with, they even educate me. Like, I feel mm. so proud mm. of tomorrow's man yeah, yeah. In, when I hear them speak yeah. and the yeah. respect that they accord yeah. to women and yeah. to and, and, and people just that's as lovely. you know, like yeah. it's so amazing. That's like lovely. Kassan was asked me the other day, he says, Mom, I, I see boys these days, they they fear girls and they don't touch girls' things. <laughs> and he's like, is that okay? Mm. I, I, I said, it's not okay, but it's normal because you're about to be a teenager. Mm. It's like, so what? Oh, I remember what it is to be a teenager. So I feel that as parents, like, we can't over labor the point mm. for us to be able to communicate with our children for sure. okay. age appropriately. Because now, when he said that, I knew now yeah, I have to yeah, bump yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. now it's time for yes, me to yes, take yes, it yes. Uh, take a notch a higher, notch higher yeah. for him to. So we sat down and we talked. I think it's important for us to talk, but with this, you know me, I'm really big on the children and the, you know, the ones yeah. that can't talk yeah. Yeah, yeah. and can't express themselves, so. can't explain, and certain things become normal. I was driving yesterday and a policeman got us and unfortunately my car window got stuck. Mm -hmm. So I have to open the door okay. if they have to talk to us because yeah. you know okay. they go on okay. the passenger okay. side. Yeah. So that window doesn't work. So I had to open the door and I had a child with me. Mm. Yeah. And so this policeman is talking to me as he's a stroking the baby stroking the baby now in my mind i know that they're asking me for my Pamit. 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 my eyes could not get off what he was doing. what he was doing yeah. and in my mind i'm like so how do i say this with this child mm. and then say and then, with the, mm. and then he's asking for my I, I was so, so. do you click mm. until i just said you know what a fan de good you are asking for my but i re i request you keep your hands out of my car and out of and off Ooh, of my child yeah it's like hey, hey madam you're so strict, strict. Hey. what yeah. did you expect they you're like crazy. they like to come back to yeah. give you to, give you to define you yeah. give you a, a yes. definition because of what you've said but i've just now said you was strict mm. thank you very much now i'm strict he doesn't see that what he was doing to a child and it's out of her swimming costume area yes how but i'm like but it's such still, a sexual oh. mm. The way you are so how old? Uh, like She's about five. How old? five. It's about no, yeah, five, like around five. Mm. So yes. I know At for her it's it was nothing. I thought it was a baby than me. No, they would say okay. Yeah, five. But, uh, five. So yeah. for her she probably feels nothing for it. But in my mind, I'm like, this man who does it with his wife. Yeah, yeah so who, who does he carry? I was so confused <laughs> and so and I remember I said, you know what? Let the girl hear it. Mm. I said, keep your hands off that child yeah. and out of my car. Yes. You just need my permit. That's yes. what you'll get. Mm. But you don't need to caress a child. Mm. I was so Annoyed. sad. I was so sad. Mm. I was like, this is a policeman who they are going to report to tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. That this is this, this sexual and, harassment. And I, like that you, I like that you addressed it in front of her because I think yeah. sexual harassment should be addressed on site yeah and when yeah. it is happening at exactly. that exact yeah. time not in the bedroom you first wait, you're not talking you wait about then you do things then after you come and say but you know what eh? i was not i didn't like this uh, mm. it's not a marriage affair yeah, yeah. where you, yeah. you shelve the problem no, no, no. then you say i'll wait for the right, the right time. time no, 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 no address no. it immediately, the, immediately I'm telling as that it's happening i told him i remember that i remember that never carry my, my daughter. daughter. And we brand was just being confused. Mm. And I'm like, no, honey. As what? long as he puts on the lap. Mm. Mm. Yeah? You're going to get ideas. That, uh, yeah, mm. I know. I don't yeah. want. And I yeah. told him, never mm. touch her, never be with her. Leave eh. But no, the thing, rules I put mm. to I protect like my an, child. Another thing that is really key is raising an empowered child. A child mm. that mm. can eh, speak eh, 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 for, eh, themselves, for themselves, guys. Yeah. Empower your children. Allow them to talk. Mm. Like, don't press them down. No, kids don't say, you don't say nothing when I'm talking. 
yeah. allow them to talk. Mm. I've done it and two of my kids, you do not shut them up. <laughs> These things were made, they are made is saying, don't, you do not shut them up mm -hmm. and it really, really helps. Because I remember feedback that I got from one of my sons a while ago while another oh, yes. a person tried to touch him. He came and told me I was uncomfortable. Wow. He actually came up front and told me, wow. Mommy, this person tried to touch me a sudden. Well, I don't like that. Oh. So yeah, I didn't like that. So it, it really brings this point out more clearly. Because mm. one who is, you know, always pressed down, don't come telling me things, will not come they openly never. tell you. Mm. So yeah. encourage them to talk about yeah. everything and, and anything. anything. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So there's a, there's a phrase that is going around on social media circles that says, <laughs> <laughs> you know, So I know that we are addressing our children, but there's adults who are struggling with sexual harassment and their biggest issue mm. is not being able to talk. And yeah. I have shared my experience. And if you are that person and you are struggling to speak up, I would encourage you to find your voice. Yeah. Um, I feel mm -hmm. like uh, there are lessons here. You can come to Pumla to teach you boldness on how to speak. How but to yeah, speak the, the point is find your voice because we have realized that the fight against sexual harassment is very nuanced. It's very difficult. People are afraid to lose their jobs. People are afraid to lose relationships. Mm -hmm. Therefore, yes, while we are making strides with like the Me Too movement and all of that, I think it starts with us as individuals. So find your voice, find that boldness to be able to speak up for yourself. I feel like you actually feel worse not when, speaking up yes, exactly. than the when actual you fence. Yes. Because it's like yeah. I've been violated, but I can't even say anything. Yeah. So find your voice. And I hope this show has been helpful. Share your stories in our comment section and give tips to people who are struggling mm -hmm. with sexual harassment and maybe even employers. What can we do in the workplace to fight this vice? Oh my God, and Rachel, I see you closing the show. But I want to say something. <laughs> okay. What does it mean to find your voice? Because I feel mm. like people say that a lot. And, and somebody who's really struggling is like, so, uh-huh. What does that mean? Like, I didn't want to find it. Like, it's the inside in my yeah. head. But it's just, yeah. just at the it's point. Not I, I feel like you have an answer to that yeah, question. Yeah, because I'm a very yeah. uh, chronological yeah. person. Okay. I think go down with yourself mm. and ask yourself, when are the times you've been harassed? Or mm -hmm. when are the possibilities that you might be harassed? What are the things that people might say? Mm. So you know you have a big bum. Of course someone is going to comment about yes. your big bum. Maybe you are quiet and sweet and lovely. Someone's going to say something about house. Mm -hmm. So you write it down and say, what response ah. would I give? So yeah. my response would probably be, uh, while I think another woman might appreciate your comment, I, I do not appreciate it, yeah. and it's unwelcome, yeah. and yes. borders sexual harassment. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. appreciate it if it doesn't come up again. Yeah. 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 Or another response yeah. is, this is the workplace. Yeah, let's, I don't let's think keep this it is, professional. Let's keep this. Yeah. Write all your, com your responses. Yeah. Your responses. That's a nice yeah. one. Go and sit down in the mirror and this converse. Covers it yeah. with yourself yeah. and ask yourself, how do I look? <laughs> mm -hmm. So because you people who are quiet, those are some of the things that come. Do, did I look rude? Mm -hmm. Did I so say, ah, there I looked rude? Mm -hmm. To cut them, to cut them. <laughs> ah, this is a workplace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Practice it. Mm -hmm. There I look like I'm soft, soft. Yeah. Let me add in some. Yeah. Now Practice. when someone comes for you, you'll be ready. Be you will be you'll ready. Be you will be prepared. That's yeah. how you, you find, find your, your voice. voice. Yeah. I love that. That's lovely. I love that. And be professional and civil in the office. I know mm. here we said, oh, I hit him like this. And I then had said, oh, <laughs> mama, oh, oh, what? <laughs> but no, but no. let's I had my response. Yeah. Let's, yes, no, yeah. no. let's, <coughs> let's, let's keep it, let's keep it professional. Yes. <laughs> Even when you respond. Yes, yeah. yes. So, no, but that makes a lot of sense. Preparation. Because, you know, a lot of the times those comments find you unprepared. unprepared yes. And like, what would I have said? And then, like, yeah. some of us, again, who think about responses later. Yes. <laughs> Not helpful, but I hope this has been helpful. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it from us. Until next time, with love from Bump Love.